In this video, I'm going to be explaining something that I find kind of paradox, right? People love money. They love earning money. They want more money most of the time. And they love spending money on things that they think that will make them happy, right? But there are two areas in life that people rarely spend enough money, if any money at all. The first of these things is health, right? People will happily spend two, three hundred bucks a month on food, on takeout, going to restaurants. So they'll spend money happily on fast food, for example. But when it comes to, you know, healthier kinds of foods, they just cheap out and get the cheapest kind, right? For example, with milk, they just get the cheapest one that's full of, you know, estrogen and all kinds of hormones that they um, feed the cows, right? And that's just unhealthy. Organic milk is probably healthier than the cheapest kind of milk. And the difference in price is really not all that much. People could afford it easily if they wanted to, but people prefer getting the newest iPhone or buying some new AirPods, right? Now there's nothing wrong with buying the newest iPhone, but I think that people need to get their priorities straight. People won't bat an eye if someone spends like 1500 bucks on a new iPhone, but if they see me spending, for example, 400 bucks on a bed cooling system, they're gonna look at me like I'm crazy. But if you just think about it rationally, your sleep is the foundation of your whole life. Your brain works better, your body functions better, just everything in your brain and body functions better when you get good sleep. And so why is it not normal to spend money to get better sleep? For example, also getting air conditioning for your room so your room is cooler at night is a good idea. Getting, for example, lights that you can um, basically change the color of the light to red at night so you don't have all that blue light coming into your eyes and basically disrupting your sleep. All of these things are not really all that expensive, but people still don't really like to spend money on them. So basically, people don't spend enough money in general on health, in my opinion. Um, another thing could be, for example, a health tracker. So, for example, a whoop strap or an aura ring, an Apple watch, just anything that can track your workouts and that can track your sleep. I think that that's a great investment. And I don't know why there are still quite a few people that feel like a fitness tracker is kind of a waste of money that don't really feel like that they would benefit from it. I think that almost anyone could benefit from a fitness tracker and from a sleep tracker. And the second thing that people don't spend enough money on is knowledge. People love money, right? And they love spending money, but they don't really think about how they're going to get money. It's kind of paradoxical, right? You need to earn more money to spend more money, but people just love spending money and don't really care about earning the money. And knowledge is the key to earning more money. You can't get a return on your investment if there is no investment. If you invest zero money or zero time into something, there's no way that you're going to get some kind of return on it. So you need to spend money on books. You need to spend money on seminars, on mentorships on anything that's going to get you the knowledge you need to increase your income so you can spend more money and ideally not just spend it on the newest you know newest iphone or whatever but spend it on things that are actually important like your health like your sleep like your fitness and the thing that people don't realize is that all of these things compound right if you spend more money on knowledge you spend more money on books and you start earning more money you can spend more money on your health and because you spent more money on your health, your sleep is better and your brain functions better. And so you earn even more money and your life just, <laughs> I don't know, it just, it just spirals out of control, but in a good way, right? It, it just becomes better and better in every aspect. Doesn't that sound amazing? Like if after hearing that, I think that you should feel kind of excited. You know, you should feel, you should feel a little bit energized. You should feel a little bit motivated to actually improve your life and to actually achieve 
excellence, right? I've already said this before and I don't want to rant for too long, but we only have one life. We most probably, we're not going to get reborn again, right? And most probably there is no afterlife. And so all we get is this one life. So we need to make it the best life possible. What you don't realize is that if you buy an eight sleep mattress, for example, for two and a half K with a 30 uh, bucks a month membership, your brain is going to work better and you're going to be able to earn more money. And in a way that investment is going to pay for itself. But if you don't invest any money, you can't get a return on your investment, as I've said before. So what I want you to take away from this video is that you need to stop being scared to spend money on health and on knowledge because those two things are going to stay with you for your entire life they're going to stay with you forever the knowledge that you accumulate is going to stay with you and your health is also something that's going to stay with you forever and the more you improve on these two areas the more you can invest in these two areas and not just money, but also time, the better your life is going to be in every aspect. So I hope you got some value from this video. If you did and you want to see more videos like this, consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next one.